I've always wondered what some of our favorite players on the pitch, about their tattoos. What exactly, do they have any meanings? Are they just there to be there? Today we're gonna find out. I think we're looking at secrets about footballers' tattoos. I mean, you see Messi out there. Oh, he has a sleeve. Like, I want to know, is that for his grandma, his family, his children? Like, you see so many of them have tattoos, but there has to be some meaning behind there it. There has to be. I mean, usually that's why you get a tattoo, Oh, right? yeah, right? It, that's it why I've to. threatened to get Messi's autograph. <laughs> if I get it, because that would be meaningful to me. Well, today we're looking at football players with secret tattoo meanings. Let's get into it. One player's tattoos Whoa. saved a life. Another player's tattoos almost got him banned from football what? forever. I could see These that. These are the craziest <laughs> tattoos <laughs> in that's football it, yeah. history. And Raheem Sterling didn't just get a tattoo. He got one that's so controversial, it had him beefing with his own fans. What? Coming into the 2018 World Cup, fans noticed Raheem got a tattoo oh, they just couldn't ignore. A oh. tattoo of an assault weapon. And after fans <laughs> saw that, really? they were pissed. Within seconds, everyone went Went from loving Raheem to hating him, immediately throwing dirt. I think it's dumb. Uh, come on, you can tell him that too. And even going as far as to accuse him of promoting gun violence. But mm. behind the scenes, his tattoo had a secret meaning that he kept from everyone. So Raheem took to Instagram mm. to set the record straight, explaining to fans that when I was two, my father died from being gunned down to death. I made a promise to myself I would never touch a gun in my lifetime. I shoot with my right foot. So oh, oh really see. But at least we're here. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's I meaningful. You can't say the same for Jean Ling Peng. This is Jean Ling Peng. And the man is covered in ink from neck tattoos to arm sleeves. Yes, but in 2021, everything changed once the CFA implemented a rule change that affected every player in its pro football league. You couldn't have tattoos while playing in their own country or abroad. Mm. And for some players, their tattoos meant everything. But what's even crazier is the reason for the ban. See, over the years, the Chinese government noticed an unusual amount of players getting tatted up. And in their culture, tattoos aren't looked at the same same way they are in other countries. Tattoos are actually looked at as a form of punishment, meaning that if you had tattoos what? anywhere on your body, it Seriously? meant that you were more likely to be associated with gangs or worse. So once the Chinese government saw a rise in players getting tattoos, they put a stop to it all, putting out a direct order requiring all players to either get rid of their ink entirely or cover up during games to prevent any unwanted attention. Zhang was forced to comply, and instead of showing off his ink to millions worldwide, he was now required by the Chinese government to start wearing long sleeves to cover all his tattoos or risk getting banned from football. Oh Boom. my gosh. But as Wild. crazy as getting banned for tattoos is, there's one player who's so <laughs> in love with tattoos. Oh, he has he made it his dream job. Once Sergio Ramos first hit the scene, he looked like any other player. So nobody really paid him much attention. But that it's all changed art, once he started getting tattoos. Because over the years, Ramos has collected as many tattoos as he has trophies. But wow. all of those tattoos aren't as special as the ones he got tatted on his knuckles. See, Ramos wanted to get something that represents the most iconic moments of his career. So he hit up his tattoo artist to come up with something special. Which is why Ramos got the numbers 35, 90, 32, and 19 inked into his knuckles. But these numbers are anything sense, but random. Each of these numbers actually hold a special meaning behind them that Ramos had kept a mystery until now. The numbers 35 and 32 are meant to remind Ramos of the numbers he wore while playing for Sevilla that helped turn him into a household name. And number okay. 19 was meant to represent his debut in Spain, so he never forgets his home country. But what about 90? Well, it supposedly represents the play that made him famous. <laughs> I I mean, it, it means yeah. something to him, you know? People put like their kids' birthdays on them or their, their anniversary dates. Just hidden meanings. Even though he Why was not? noted as having the worst tattoos in football <laughs> history, <laughs> that didn't stop him from turning his love for tattoos into his dream job. But just like Sergio totally Ramos, see it from him. Oh, yes. can't stop oh, getting tattoos. Oh, another guy. Yeah, I love this I guy. I bet Sergio Ramos's ink didn't change the entire world like Zlatan's did. Back in 2015, Zlatan came into a matchup against Cayenne with a secret plan. So, during the first half of the game, Zlatan did this. Ooh. He's doing Zlatan things. He's gonna show it off too. 
He's the baddest, man. Oh, he really is. I miss him. Yeah. I do, too. Zlatan transformed his entire body into a work of art. Cool. With tattoos like the Aces of Hearts, with an H in the middle to honor the love he has for his wife, his mother, and mm. sister's birthdays. But Zlatan didn't stop there, which is why he got dragons, religious texts, a koi fish, a feather, and even something called the Five Deva Faces Yantra. Now, even cool. though all it cost Zlatan was a yellow card for his little <laughs> stunt, it was only a few months later that all of his tattoos tattoos completely vanished. See, shortly after this photo of Zlatan on the beach without a shirt started circulating around the media, fans noticed all of Zlatan's tattoos he got only a few months ago had disappeared as if they never existed, what? which left every football fan that wondering what exactly happened to his tattoos. But they do have tattoos See, that can last like a year. as conspiracy theories around the disappearance mm -hmm. of Zlatan's tattoos got bigger, it was revealed that all along Zlatan actually agreed to the idea of covering his body with temporary tattoos, all oh, as an attempt to raise awareness for the United Nations World Food Program, which fights Ooh. against hunger worldwide. And for Zlatan, this cause hit home. Nobody knew exactly how much this cause truly meant to Zlatan. For me, the biggest disaster, disease in world is hunger. There's 805 millions going through this hunger. And if I could, I would put every name on my body, but... He's a passionate so, man. So yeah, big, but not I so did not know that. He grew up in poverty in one of the worst neighborhoods in Sweden and constantly battled homelessness. Now, Zlatan's tattoo may have saved the world, but there's one player who went through something so tragic. Oh, he, he had a, a tattoo beginning. of something he would never forget. Growing up, there was only one thing Neymar loved more than football, tattoos. So <laughs> in 2015, once Neymar made the league and became a star, he decided to fulfill his childhood dream and get a tattoo of the hood that made him. The tattoo of the boy in the favela portrays what he went through as a child, the dreams he had as a boy, how far he wanted to go. And that's beautiful. Thanks God who gave me my gift. I achieved more than I wanted, more than I ever imagined. Now that I've arrived at this level, I don't want to stop here. But what started out as a dream quickly turned into an obsession. Not long after, Neymar started getting tattoos of superheroes, cartoon characters, <laughs> heroes, I don't think I've ever seen most of, of his. Every no. single member in his family. But as Neymar's tattoo collection got bigger, nothing could have prepared him for his next tattoo. See, in 2020, Neymar came onto the pitch like it was any other game. But during half time, something terrible happened. And good evening, and we are coming back on the air with new details on the tragic death of NBA legend Kobe Bryant. Oh, ABC no. News confirming the five times NBA champion for the Los Angeles Lakers was among five people killed when a helicopter crashed and caught fire in I Southern California. Yeah, yeah. In day. this moment, not only did the news of Kobe's death cut deeper than we thought, but also brought Neymar to tears. Neymar hit up his tattoo artist to come up with a tattoo to keep Kobe with him wherever he goes. And in his very next game, Neymar showed his love for Kobe to the entire world. Wow. But as emotional as that was, that it's cool. incomparable to the time Arturo Vidal's tattoo saved his son's life. Vidal is known for having some of the craziest tattoos in football. Well, but in 2016, Vidal added a tattoo to his collection that changed his life forever. See, Vidal's son Alonso was diagnosed with a life-changing disease, type 1 diabetes. Oh so, not long after, Vidal got his son the proper treatment he needed to survive. Vidal got a tattoo of the one thing that saved his son's life, an insulin oh. pump. But Vidal didn't just get the pump tattoo for his son, he did it for his country. See, Vidal knew he couldn't stop at just tattoos. Then Vidal posted this photo to social media, showing off his new tattoo alongside his son, demanding that every child suffering from the exact same condition as his son should receive the same blessing that not only changed his son's I love life, this. but saved yeah. it. But I bet Vidal's tattoo didn't get him trolled by his own fans, like Lionel Messi's That's tattoo. That's a crazy story. Unlike that other is players, crazy. Messi feared the needle. But once Messi became teammates with Dani Alves and saw how much attention he was attracting with the tattoos, he knew he had to Those get himself in. But right there. since Messi feared needles, getting tatted was going to be anything but easy. So once he hit up his tattoo artist to come up with something crazy, he was only going to let that needle touch his skin under one condition. That is one 
wife get inked up first. And oh. once Messi saw how simple the process was, they got matching crown tats and there oh, was no cute. turning back. Ever since Messi fell in love with the process of getting tatted so much, he decided to turn his body into a work of art, mm -hmm. tattooing the most important things in his life I so they could be sleeves. a part of him permanently. After getting a tattoo of Mama Messi, football fans <laughs> everywhere got ruthless and started clowning Messi, calling it the ugliest tattoo they'd ever <laughs> seen. Oh, that's and not terrible. only did Messi go viral for having one of the ugliest tattoos, this was the wake-up call he needed to upgrade his tattoo game. So, he got ink of his son's name, birth dates, and even his son's handprint, his legendary oh. jersey number, Jesus, and of course, a football. A lot of different meanings to a lot of different players. The one that caught me off guard was Zlatan, the temporary tattoos, doing it for a good cause. I it, love that. A bad boy, still doing crazy things for his community, for his people. I really, really enjoy him I as a player. I felt like that's what we've seen, though. A lot of these tough guys with like all these tough exteriors, bad boy personas, yep. they have good causes behind it, whether it's their kids, or like their country. I love that. It seems like they have such deep meanings to all their tattoos. You just see Messi there. I mean, it's basically his whole family on his body. <laughs> so, that's that's what he lives for. That's his wake up, you I know, every morning. That. Yeah. And then Neymar's. I mean, there's just so many cool stories behind all of these. Yeah. Anything that jumps out to you? Um, Messi's mom. You Messi's know, mom. you gotta yeah. love your mom and like to be supported. I don't care if people didn't like it. I think it was a great idea. Who cares? It's Messi. Leave him alone. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> with his body. That's right. Comment down below what was your uh, story that intrigued you the most here on this video. If you made it to the end, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.